In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a fantastic new service from InstaWP. So as you know, InstaWP is one of those platforms that you can use as a designer or a developer if you use WordPress. So it is a development platform where you can test plugins, you can design, show your clients and so on. And this can be done super fast. Now I've done a video where I'm covering InstaWP. I'll link that in the video description below. But today we are talking about this brand new service called Insta WP Live. So this is WordPress hosting. Now I know, I know, you're probably thinking, well, Mac, come on, there's so many companies out there that provide web hosting services. Well, this is different. This is specifically optimized for WordPress. So that's a huge deal. And this also works with any page builder out there. So let's talk about most of the things that we find in web hosting companies and compare and see if that is also available with InstaWP Live. So we have Manage WordPress, which is brilliant because shared, uh, I don't know if you know about uh, the difference between the two, shared hosting is a problem because your website or your domain is dumped onto a server where it's sharing resources with others. So usually that type of hosting is not efficient if your website needs a lot of uh, resources. Or let's say some, uh, someone's uh, website is acquiring more resources that affects your website. Well, this is managed. So this is totally different. So this is one of those things which you may be considering if you really want to host a website that is efficient for your clients. Now let's talk about attacks. We all know websites online are being attacked pretty much every day. And the type of attack which is very dangerous is called a denial of service attack. So InstaWP Live has protection against this, which is very, very good. Now, moving down the list, we also have a web application firewall. Again, we're stopping all the bad guys from coming in. And this is included in this whole package. We also have automated backups. Now, this is something which I find very, very, very important. Pretty much, if there's a hosting company that does not provide these backups, I stay away from them. But what makes InstaWP Live is they have automated backups, which are both hourly and daily. So you're not gonna miss anything, basically. It also has a CDN. So that means we have different servers. So if you try to access your website from a server, let's say from uh, United States, there's a server ready there for you, which means that whoever is going to be accessing, website, accessing your website pretty much from anywhere is going to make it easy for you I mean, to get to your website, making it super fast. It also has guaranteed uptime. Now, this is huge because if you're running a website, an e-commerce website, for example, or a website that needs to be up always, then this feature is very, very important. So again, as you can see, all these things that I'm talking about here, are in Insta WP Live, which means it's a competitor in the uh, hosting space. Now let's take a look at how it works and how it can be set up. So over here, I've gone ahead and logged in. So you're going to notice that you have this tab called hosting. So if you click here on hosting, so I don't have any websites that I've set here, I mean, ahead of time. So why don't we go in and try this out? So first of all, I'm gonna come over here to connect hosting. So this is an option whereby if you have a website which is hosted elsewhere, you can connect it with InstaWP Live. But today we are not doing this. We are going to come over here and create a brand new site. So as you can see here, we have InstaWP Live and uh, here we can choose from supported providers if you wanna do that, but let's stick with new feature. All right, so we're gonna hit next. Now you can see the UI here is very simple. It's straightforward and it is very, very easy to use. All right, so as we are here now, we can go to the pricing calculator here if we need to. And this is going to open up a new tab where we can take a look and see what the prices uh, look like. So I'm just gonna come over here to view pricing. So as you can see here, we can choose our sites. So let's say you want to hold 10 plus sites. This is uh, the amounts. Now, let's say you just want to go for two to nine websites. Again, it goes down a little bit. And then finally, if you want to go with one website, this is uh, the pricing. So pretty straightforward. Now over here, we also have the uh, CPU, two CPUs uh, per site. We also have our visitors and so on. But let's not waste too much time on that. Let's come over here and click on next step. So we're gonna go with light, okay? So we're gonna click on next step. So here we can choose our data center. So this is going to depend on where you are. If you are in the United States or you're in Europe, this is where you'd come over here 
and choose the data center. So if you're in Europe, you go with Amsterdam. All right, so let's continue on our PHP version here. I'm just gonna leave everything as basic. Now over here on the domain name, I'm just gonna call this um, Augustine. Let's see if this one is available. All right, let's try it out. All right, now look at that. Now, if you use Insta WP, you're going, this looks very familiar because we have all these um, services chosen for us ahead of time. So we can go through here and choose whatever we want, but we're gonna keep things very uh, basic. Look, we also have marketing here, so we can choose um, all these plugins. So let's just go ahead and click on go live. Now look at that. Once I hit that, it says now you're a step away from creating a new hosted site. Do you want to continue? Now if I hit yes, it's creating my site. So you'll probably be asking, okay, so if this site is now being hosted, so what was really the point of Insta WP and then adding Insta WP Live? Isn't the Insta WP hosted? And the answer is yes, but you had to now migrate your website from Insta WP onto another hosting site. So what they have done here is they have kept everything inside under one umbrella. So Insta WP, you play around with your website. Once you're ready to host it, you just connect it to Insta WP Live which is fantastic. So it is going to take a bit of time because um, it is installing a WordPress and setting up the server as well, which is brilliant. So take a look at this. <laughs> I have my uh, URL here, so I can say magic login. In fact, let's view this in a new tab like that. And then I'm also going to magic login. All right, so here's our brand new website. You can see here our domain is right there, augustine.instawp. All right, so we also have our dashboard here so I've, this is where my uh, dashboard is I can go in now and start adding all my plugins I can add all my uh, templates and so on all right now back over here I can just go ahead and close and this now is my hosted website now if you want to know whether you're on the normal uh, Insta WP page or not over here is where you have your list of websites but if you want to see what you're hosting you can just come over here to hosting and there we are, that's my site. And we also have this uh, nice little icon here to show us what's happening. Okay, we can also add tags here. So these tags are carried over from Insta WP, uh, where I can just say this is maybe Sidecrafter 2. I can just add my tag like that. Now over here, we also have more options. I can log into my website by just coming over here. And when we click down here, we also have an option to um, set up our domain even further. Now check this out. This domain here, augustine.instawp.app is not my actual domain. So let's say I've registered a domain with a different um, web registrar like hover.com. I can now map my domain name over here just like that, okay? So I would need to go in and add my A records and uh, do all that and then it's gonna link up with Insta WP Live. It's as simple as that. In fact, I will do another video showing you how to map these uh, your domain name. Now, another thing as well that is quite interesting is your backups. So you can come over here, do all your backups. You can uh, create and restore all your backups. So right now there's no backup found, but these will be done automatically. All right, so let's go back. Now let's take a look at another feature here. We can purge our cache here and we also have more options. So on these options here, you can see we have uh, the stats, space used, uh, the CPU cores. It tells you about the... Um, PHP version, the, I mean, pretty much all the basic stuff you need to know. But what I like about this is it's not overwhelming, you know? So for someone who's new to web design, it is very straightforward. It's not overwhelming that it's gonna really drive you crazy, which is fantastic. So as you can see here, this is really, really uh, easy to use. You also have access to your database here where you can go in and edit your database for all you um, developers out there. I mean, this is very, very ideal. Now, there's one more thing that I want to talk about, and that is when we come over here to uh, InstaWP, in fact, let's just go back to our sites here. Let's say you've created your website here and you'd like to host it. So over here, you click on this rocket. It says go live. And right away, you can see here, we can go straight to our hosting and start hosting our website. So all in all, this is a really good service they've introduced the service pretty much expands Insta WP itself to make it easy to host your websites right away inside Insta WP. So it just makes the, the, the process of hosting 
uh, these uh, websites from InstaWP to another hosting company much, much easier. So InstaWP Live, try it out. I have a special link in the video description below. Go ahead, check it out. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, see you soon.